Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a coffee pot that I found that will greatly simplify your cold brew coffee making process. This is the Mizudashi Coffee Pot by Hario. My two main goals when I was looking at coffee pots on Amazon were to find something that was both affordable and super easy to use. This makes around a thousand milliliters of coffee or about four cups. You can get this off Amazon and I think I paid only around $20 for this. The first thing that you need to do is you need to grind up 80 grams of coffee. Or if you've already got freshly ground coffee, you at least want to have a coffee scale. If you're unable to use a scale to measure your ground coffee, it measures out to be about three quarters to one cup of coffee grounds. You can get a scale for probably $10 or less on Amazon right now. So get a scale. Trust me, a scale is very useful for coffee making, bread making, all kinds of stuff like that. I'll link what I use. You wanna make sure it's ground up pretty fine because I've done it before where I didn't have it ground up fine enough and it had trouble filtering the water through the coffee. I use a chopstick to stir it while I'm pouring in the water. And that helps saturate the grounds better, make sure they don't clump together. Per the instructions, you're going to end up putting in 1,100 milliliters of water. Really, all you need to do after that is put it in the refrigerator. I would suggest that you keep it in there for about 24 hours for maximum coffee infusion. You could get away with 16 hours, depending on how infused you'd like your coffee to be, but I would suggest 24 hours or more. And then when it's time for the coffee, you pull the little thing out and you're ready to go. Also, I have not tried this yet, but you can make tea with this bad boy. All you have to do is put some kind of loose leaf tea in here. It is so easy to use. It's got a nice ergonomic handle for easy pour. When it's done, it's some of the best cold brew coffee I've ever had. Now this thing is super easy to clean, but I do suggest that you get some kind of a brush on a stick because my hand is not fitting down this thing. The throw of the pitcher is, is pretty skinny, but it will accommodate any kind of kitchen brush. And you can clean this thing up pretty easily. When you wanna clean the strainer, it's got a little cap at the bottom. That's an easy thing to miss. You just twist that off and you can get right in there with your kitchen brush. So this is just a wonderful, easy to use cold brew coffee maker. I really like it. I even like the color. And it's really nice that you don't get any kind of grittiness in your coffee. It's very smooth, very delicious. This thing's great. So this is the part of the video where I say thank you for watching. If you have any questions about anything coffee related or anything at all, leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe Hit the bell and I'll see you next time.